Hey guys, Matt from Laser Everything here today and I'm going to be teaching you about how to turn $40 worth of plastic into a $500 payday. So stick around and find out more. So in one of the recent shows, one of you asked about what's the easiest material to make my money back on, and I answered with plastic. And one of the reasons I think that is because of the jobs that I get frequently for signage. So I wanted to share a job that I'm doing with you and basically explain my pricing, how I came up with it, and what materials I'm using. So here we go. So the product that I'm using for this project is Duets by Gemini, which is a two layered acrylic piece where there's one color on top and then there's another color on the bottom. In this specific instance, the customer wanted white on top with a black back. So if you've never seen this product before, it's actually right here. It's got a very small, thin layer of white plastic and on the back, it has the color that will laser that will be seen. So the laser is going to burn away the white and show the black. The reason I'm going with this product from JDS is because it's actually made for the exterior. It's really similar to some of the products that you see other places, but JDS is someone who I use frequently and I can have this product to me within a day. This is called the XT brand of the Duets Gemini, and I'll put a link to that, but it's white on black, Duragard XT. The XT means that it's been rated and coated to protect it from exterior conditions. So it's really a great product for putting up signage outside or on things that are gonna see a lot of UV. So the product is said to last about three to seven years. Who knows, depending on where you are, it could always be different and mileage may vary. And that's something that you can explain to your customer, but you can show them the product has been rated for that um, level of extent. That being said, this is a two foot by two foot piece, 24 inches by 24 inches approximately. And it cost me about $40. When I ordered hundred dollars from JDS, I didn't have to pay shipping. So basically this plus a couple of other things I was missing to restock on made it a really easy choice. Uh, you can actually get this in different sizes. You can get it by one foot by two foot, two foot by two foot, and two foot by four foot for those of you with a larger laser bed. Uh, I have a two foot by three foot bed, so 24 inches by 36. So to me, the easiest thing to do would be to order a couple of smaller pieces. Cost does not go up. So if you got a larger sheet, which was two feet by four feet, then you would be paying 80 bucks. So really there's no cost difference to you, which is a great thing. The next thing most people ask is, okay, so how do I do my pricing? So if you were to do this, it would be $40 divided by 24 times 24. So you can get a per square inch price and doing the math really quickly, 24 times 24 is 576 inches, $40 divided by 576 equals about seven cents per square inch. Then I take that and they want a three by 12 sign. So 36, easy math times 0.07 equals $2.52 per sign for material. So basically, if you were gonna make a mass run of these, materials would be 250 per sign, then you would take that, multiply it by three, which would be 750. Then take the 750, add my runtime and my setup cost, which will vary for each shop. So when everything was settled, I came up with the price somewhere between 20 and 25 for my bid so that I could get these because each one does require me to set up new information, new tags, and it's really not that big of a deal, but you always wanna make sure that you're getting paid for your time. So I quoted them $25 per sign. So if we do 25 times 21, that's $525. So to do this job, I needed three pieces. That way I had a little bit of extra just in case of some mishaps or for testing material. And so when you do the math, I'm paying $120. And from that, I'll make 525. So 525 minus 120 equals $405 that I'll be putting in my pocket. So that means that the amount of time that I'm working plus the setup, plus actually having the machine and the knowledge to do this is what they're paying $400 for and they needed this in less than a two week time period. So I'm putting this up in my process chain. So they are paying a little bit of a rush fee, but I've just incorporated that into the cost without telling them that. And that's where you can kind of incorporate costs. They don't need to have an itemized list. So what that means is each sign for $25 is gonna be about $8 for material and about $16 for 
run time, setup time, putting it together, and whatever else. So a couple of important things to know when you're working with any type of dual layer plastic is that when you go to run these, they do have a grain. And so looking at this, there's a few things and I'll do a close up, but it definitely tells you to engrave this side. And right here it says grain direction. You always wanna make sure that your laser follows the grain direction that it's instructing you to because that's how you're gonna get the best project out of your product. So it's really important to make sure you know that. There's also four signs that we need to look at. So do store flat on flat surface to prevent sheet warp or curl. Keep protective film on sheet when handling, cutting, or shearing. Make sure to rotate the stock during storage and test small areas or samples to validate settings. What you shouldn't do is store vertically, stack unprotected without the film, prior to making something. And to avoid cracking, do not shear materials thicker than 1 16th of an inch, and do not store in direct sunlight or in temperatures above 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 29 Celsius. All right, so I've started working with the product and basically what I've found is that the same setting that I've used on other Duet products works for this one. So basically on my machine, which is 150 watt Boss Laser, I went with 300 millimeters per second at 11% power, which works for me, it's the sweet spot. And as far as air assist goes, definitely play around with your air assist. Some people like to have a little bit of air just to make sure that none of the fumes go up into the lens, which is smart. But at the same time, when working with plastics, you really are just trying to melt that top layer. Um, and so there really shouldn't be a lot of dust if you're working with it correctly. But every machine is different. And again, the mileage may vary. So play with your settings, get what you need. As far as my cutting speed, it's a 1 16th piece of material. So for that, I've got mine set to uh, 20 millimeters per second and 20% just to knock out quickly. And that gives me pretty nice crisp edges when I cut mine. So you can kind of see right here, and I'll hold it up against my shirt. So nice, crisp, clean edges. Um, and when I'm looking at this, I tried to do something super small. So if the detail comes out nice looking in this small font, then with the larger font, it should come out really clear. So that was my thought process is make something that I've made before, see if it comes out looking as nice. By the way, if you do have some type of dust or anything getting in the way, um, I always like to use just a Mr. Clean cleanup pad to brush the surface off and basically any residue will be gone pretty quickly. All right guys, so while I'm working with the laser itself, I'm going to be putting in the sheet of two by two and I'm gonna be putting it in with the grain going sideways so that the laser can go left to right and have a really nice easy engrave. And I'll show you what that looks like and how I keep that in mind when I'm working. So here we go. All right, so really quickly, we're just doing some cleanup. And so this is where I've put some LA Awesome into just a dollar store bottle, like spray bottle. And I put a liberal amount of spray on here, just two or three sprays. Get a terry cloth uh, rag from Sam's Club. They sell these in really huge packs. You really don't need to worry about messing these up too bad because they're plastic and they're made for external use. So they're very sturdy. Again, this might take some people, I might have a, a way to do this where they don't have any cleanup whatsoever. And that's cool. I took about 20 seconds worth of cleanup on that. You can kind of see the difference just to show you. So this is the cleaned up version versus the not so clean version. Big difference, takes two seconds, makes a world of difference. So just do a few of these real quick to show you. Again, LA Awesome is like five bucks for a, a gallon. Um, you can use different products. Um, you know, comment in the viewer section what it is you guys use or if you've got a better process that you like. Some of you might not have any cleanup and that's cool. Again, your mileage may vary. I just like to have a nice clean product. I also clean the back because these were stacked so you can actually see that there's dust from uh, the machine on there. So I like to give it a nice clean up all around so that the product that the person gets looks like how I would want it to look. So let's just kind of start the timer on this guy. You can kind of see the, the amount of stuff that's on there. Even if you use zero air, that's cool. My only issue without using air is I've had lenses break on me before. Again, polished version, not so polished version. I've had lenses break on me before and I really wasn't happy having to, in the middle of a job, change lenses because then if you have any idiosyncrasies or things that are just a little different, then 
you're having to figure that out on the fly. I'd much rather just keep the air on like five pounds, five PSI, and it, it makes a big difference to me. I'd rather spend the extra minute or two cleaning because again, we're charging this person 25 to $30 a sign, 750 for the product itself, about a 10 minute engrave with the settings I talked about earlier on my machine. I'm sure there are people who can do this much faster, um, but I really like the way this looks. So I like to keep these settings. And so for 10 minute engrave, 10, 10 and a half minutes, 750 plus a dollar 50 a minute puts me at 2250 plus two or three bucks just for giving it a wipe down is pretty good pretty good product value for me. And now they're getting a really nice product that's consistent and clean and ready to adhere to a surface. So guys, thank you for joining me and learning about the process that I use to turn a $40 piece of plastic into a $500 payday. Hopefully you can do the same thing in your area, but a few things to consider. My settings are just a starting place and I do have a 150 watt laser. So keep that in mind when you're trying this out. Also, most manufacturers have laser settings for uh, like standard laser settings on their website. So definitely take a look and or call your distributors to see if they have any information that could help you. A couple of other things to, to remember. This is just one project. There's so many different things that you could do to take plastic and turn it into profit. So in your area, things to consider, schools are starting in the next couple of weeks here. Um, so students are going to need name tags. Teachers are going to need name plates. Class of 24 is going to be happening this year. So there's lots of things that you can make, uh, especially with the white plastic that I use today where people might want keepsakes to have at end of the year graduation parties. And something to consider too with school starting soon is that there's so many different things that parents will buy at the beginning of the year. So look at the different products that you could take and make with this, like keychains, name tags, etc., cetera, um, and just try to be creative. And you'd be really surprised at the return on your investment that you can get with plastic. Another thing to consider too would be that my process might not be perfect for you. You may not want to do cleanup. You may not want to use air. You may not have the same tools as I do, and that's fine. But there's a lot of different ways to make this product pop and make you money. So hopefully you've learned from this today. And if you have, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.